It's got the best soft exhaust I've ever heard. Sounds like boiler exhaust. Well, actually, it doesn't sound like boiler. It sounds different, but it sounds good. What's funny is this Grand Cherokee badge right here on the side was missing, so we just put it on today. Really? Yeah, I don't know why it was missing. But if you look, the seats have like suede in the middle of them so that you stick to them. This, this sound system is so nice, and then it's got heat vents. It's got this uh, 6.2 uh, liter, or 6.4, no, 6.2 liter Hemi from the old SRT Challenger, which is awesome. That is so it makes 470. Sick, I wanna see under the hood so, so bad. Notice how the grill though is, normally the grill on the normal Jeeps cuts off here, but they lowered it like six inches. So basically there's no more off-roading. <laughs> this has tighter suspension than the Mustang. Really? Yeah. So going up in the driveway, it's like, <coughs> <laughs> It's got so. the biggest wheels too. It's got 20 inch rims. And huge oh, brakes. Look at this. Look how wide the wheels are. Come here. Rimbos. Come here, Liam. Look at this. Look at the comparison. Look at the wheels on the 6,000 pound Yukon. Look how wide they are compared to these wheels on the or on the 4,800 pound Jeep. Look at the comparison. Jesus. How wide they are. Except for the tires are so bald. are huge. If you look there, it falls me. Why, are you guys doing all-wheel drive burnouts? <laughs> no, they just are. Well, you wear on tires without doing burnouts. I guess. But I saw the most bald tires I've ever seen. Yet. So was it used or brand new? This is used. It's not brand It's 2013. Okay. The reason we got 2013 is because 2014 has like, you know all the electronic, you know the LFA? Right? Yeah. How it has the electronic gauges? Mm -hmm. 2014 has electronic gauges. And instead of a five-speed gearbox, it has eight-speed. And it's like a new eight-speed, so my dad didn't trust the eight-speed or the electronic things, because it's new. But apparently they're gonna make a Hellcat in 2016 of this. Oh, that's so you can get the awesome. SRT and then you so can, 700 and, horsepower. So you can get the SRT and then you can, if you get the SRT Hellcat, then it's supercharged. Apparently, when you get the Hellcat version, that would be amazing. But I like how it's naturally aspirated because it's a nice change. Because you can still hear because it's a Hemi. One thing I've noticed is it sounds different. One thing I've noticed is it still has a little whine, but that's because it's such a big engine making yeah. such high horsepower naturally aspirated, where it has a whine to it, and it sounds awesome. My dad takes off in it. Oh my god, it sounds so sweet. So, what's your experience from driving it, David? <laughs> Make sure you're pointing it straight. <laughs> Not that you're gonna do burnout, but it just goes. I raced a guy in a. I, did I tell you this? Yeah. The guy in the Beamer. Yeah, that. Yeah, he, <laughs> he wanted, tried to pass. He, he wanted to get in front of me, and I wanted to get in front of him. Except for I let off at 45, and he went to like 60 miles an hour. Can't wait till we get our licenses, Liam. As of tomorrow, we have exactly like you have a month and like a week. Yeah. And I have a month and two weeks. I have zero instructor hours. <laughs> it's so sweet. It's because it didn't have a third row, it has a trunk as big as mine. And this car is just a little bit longer than my car actually, but it's much wider. Look at that logo. Have, oh my God, the most annoying thing is I just changed the fog light on the Yukon. It was such a pain in the butt. Those ones? Yeah, and look, if you look. They don't the, really fit, do they? This one was supposed to be for the that side, and this one was supposed to be for this side. So they're like switched. But the bolts only fit into the sock, like into the holes, if you have this light on this side. So what it's like, the heck? I, it's like backwards. I don't even know. It took me like an, two hours to do it. General Motors, man. Except for they're so easy to take off. I can take it off so easy. We're doing myth busting. We're going to see if GTA style we can cut from the passenger seat. You know in GTA, <laughs> when you hijack a car from the passenger seat and your guy moves over to the driver's seat very quickly, we're doing some myth busting. Only if I didn't have legs and there wasn't a shift. Right <laughs> okay, so here goes David. Time starts now. You forgot to close the door. Strategy, here we go. Can't see though. I can only see a few. And now we see how fast we can hotwire a car. Hey guys, uh, we got, oh, what the heck is happening here? Okay. Jeez, look at, I'm never gonna be able to park my car in here again. But uh, we went to the junkyard and we got some parts again. I just don't film the junkyard anymore because that's not really interesting footage. But we found this trunk. We found this last time. I don't know. Yeah, I filmed that. We took it off and we hid it under the legacy turbo we found. And uh, we would hope it would be there. Three weeks later, we went back. It was there. It was perfectly fine. Um, so now we've got a trunk that's not got a huge dent in it. This one still has a huge dent. And uh, this one is actually really nice. Now, 
one thing we need to do is uh, the keyhole right here. We're going to have to switch that out with this trunk so the key for my car works with the trunk I put on. And uh, what else? Um, we don't know. I don't know if there's a clip on this wire somewhere to unclip the wires. Um, so we might just have to wire these back up to uh, the wires that go to the trunk on here. So uh, that's about it for this trunk. Uh, what else I put? I will drive sticker on it. We got some stuff for my dad's car, but we don't really care about that. I have not crossed things off this list. Uh, I have a list online now. What else? We're nearly done with uh, everything we need to do for this car before prepping for paint. We still need to get a new windshield, a uh, new sunroof. The AC belt's on, but we might take it off because it's very loud right now and we're not going to be using the AC. This hood is a little crooked. Uh, there's something else I'm trying to think of. We need to fix this sunroof. This sunroof has to, uh, this actually opens and we don't know what's broken with it. So, uh, and this, I have no idea what happened with this. This looks like it was in a fire or something, this sunroof. But, uh, and we'll get new seats eventually. Uh, we might pull them from a Legacy or we might just get them from a newer gen Impreza. Uh, that's about it for now. We're thinking of getting it completely repainted before, uh, Christmas. That's not a promise. That's just, uh, our goal. Also, I'm gonna probably get some, uh, snowflake wheels for it, other the, uh, over the stock wheels, because, oh, that's one of the reasons, because these wheels are very, oh, has this been plastic? Huh. Well, because these wheels are very old, uh, they're stock, completely stock, these are what came on the car in, back in 1993, and I don't really like the look of them, well, I don't mind the look of them, it just, I prefer the snowflake wheels, here's a picture of some snowflake wheels from, uh, I think, Third or second generation legacy. I think it's third generation legacy. Yeah, uh, that's our, uh, that's the project. Purple Haze project so far. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned that in a video. I probably have. I most likely have, but, well, the car's nickname is Purple Haze because we were jamming out to Jimi Hendrix on the way back from picking it up for the first time. So, uh, that's it for this video. Uh, see you guys, uh, later this week. Goodbye.